uh, has been compacted again overnight. Uh, a lot more snow making taking place in the cool weather last night, uh, making the surface probably, oh, I would say, maybe 10 to 20% better than it was yesterday. Uh, a very good surface yesterday, but I think it'll be even better again today with that little bit extra snow cover last night. Uh, the two teams have been warming up. I've seen them. A uh, couple of players to look out for in this tour, in this game ahead of us will be the... Uh, Number three for the USA, Tommy Biddle Jr. He uh, was a 10-goal indoor player in the United States. Uh, he's on six now in the outdoor, um, but as an indoor player in the United States, he was on 10 goals, which is the highest you can get to. Very, very strong in defence, uh, with a very good clearing hit with the soft ball. So for uh, most of you polo fanatics out there who have uh, been watching the, uh, the, the game on the grass, you'll notice there's a lot, a, a few differences here. Uh, one being that the, the ball is a lot softer and um, a lot lighter. But we're now going to stand for the national anthem for New Zealand. <laughs> States of America. marching band for their rendition there of the uh, New Zealand and the United States of National Anthem and the teams will now introduce these players as they come up. So for number one for New Zealand, Kit Brooks or Christopher Brooks as he's known. Number two will be Thomas Hunt for New Zealand. Five goaler all the way from Auckland. And number three is Sam Hopkinson, six goaler, captain of the team. He'll be at the back. And for the United States, we have... Number one, Del Walton. Three goals. And at number two is Pilon Escapite. Six goal. And at number three, Tommy Biddle. Six goals. 
and the captain of the team. Again, both captains playing at the back, number three. And they'll be trying to control the game from the back now as they uh, give the ponies a quick warm-up and get ready for the throw-in of the first game here for the Zone 2 preliminary round for the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014. The field is in magnificent order. The, this uh, game, they'll have the best, uh, the snow at its best. And it looks like we'll have umpires uh, Scortaccini, Nico Scortaccini um, will be throwing the ball in. I love what the Chinese do here. They've got the, the uh, horse the same colour as the umpire's uniform, so they match. Fantastic. They don't leave a stone unturned. <laughs> so we're going to now go to the throw in. We're going to have three chuckers. The first chuckers, or all chuckers, will be six minutes. And the umpires will just move a little bit off the side of the field so the ball doesn't go out over the boards into the crowd. Very good crowd here today for this second day of play. And New Zealand will be heading with the win now. The ball's been thrown in and who's going out with the ball? It's New Zealand on the attack now to start. Biddle going back in defence very quickly now. I should say Escapite now, the number two. He does a clearing shot across the field. Then the ball moving a lot quicker today, a lot less wind. So you'll see this ball run a lot truer than yesterday. Now, Biddle now taking the ball out onto the line. He's been hard ridden by Tom Hunt now. Tom Hunt for New Zealand just putting a lot of pressure on Biddle now. He's come up with the ball hunt. He's going to back it across towards goal, but it's coming off the leg of the other pony now. Who's there? Captain Tom. Sam Hopkinson had the ball. Biddle saw the line, thought he had it, but he was wrong. And umpires are blowing the whistle. And it's going to be a penalty. Not even 30 seconds into the game will go New Zealand's way. And I think you'll find they'll just give New Zealand a penalty there on the spot. So that you can see it here now. Hopkinson had that line. And Biddle just went across in front. A little bit too eager. Just a little rush of blood now. Plays back in. And the ball is tapped forward by Hopkinson. But he's left it behind now. But who's come up with it? It's the United States. Now, here he is. Del Walton took the ball forward. But got hooked out of it there by Hopkinson now. And again... Kit Brooks for New Zealand claimed the line early. Escapite couldn't help himself. And uh, Escapite on the grey pony, he didn't have the line. Kit Brooks created that line, the number one for New Zealand. And uh, the USA just a little bit eager at the moment. And it looks like New Zealand will get the first opportunity to score with a penalty at the, uh, the far end of the field now. Looks like it'll be Tom Hunt will take this. So they're going to give him a 20 metre, so the a 20 yard, I should say. The uh, United States team can't come out and defend this one. So Tom Hunt to see if he can put New Zealand on the board first. Coming from a penalty created by Escapite over here on this side of the field now. Hits it cleanly, lovely bounce, and it's uh, New Zealand first on the board, and it's one goal to nil. Quick play called by the United States. They know they want to be the next one to score, and it's going to be Biddle now taking it in off the back line now. Good hustle in the middle of the field there from Kid Brooks, but now Kid Brooks has gone to Biddle, left the ball there for Tom Hunt again. Tom Hunt, lovely little back shot. And you can see that the, the, the ball is running a lot truer today with the, the drop in the wind, but the field is playing true as well. A lovely surface heady for the boys. Now, here we go. Escapite now just takes, gets past his man now. He's still got to get past Kid Brooks. He's going to ride him hard into the boards there. He still claims the line there, Escapite, for the USA now. The USA inside the other half now. Yeah, Kid Brooks now just rode the USA player into the boards. They appeal for the foul and uh, as, a, as a result the uh, umpires have blown the whistle. Escapide saying that it was uh, you can't push the player into the into the, uh, the sideboards there. Umpires having a quick discussion. Scottaccini and Chris Bethel. I think they definitely agree it was a foul but what, what they were discussing is the severity of the penalty and it looks like that will take it down to the centre of the to the uh, 30 metre line and the United States will get an opportunity now to strike back after a uh, 
very tired battle here in the first opening minutes of this game. So I've got a four minutes and 28 on the left on the clock. Clock will start once the uh, USA player, Tommy Biddle, strikes the ball. And New Zealand can defend this one, being 30 yards out. But at the moment, it's New Zealand 1 0. A minute and a half gone in this first chucker of the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup for 2014. Good tussle here. Hits it, but it's gone wide to the left. So, big sigh of relief for New Zealand now. They can capitalise on this and take the ball forward. Off the back line now. And it'll be Hopkinson for New Zealand, the captain, taking it out to his left, to our right of the screen now. Who's there? It's going to be Tom Hunt. Lovely shot, but it comes off the rump of Escapite's Boney for the USA, but it's still New Zealand on the attack now. Tom Hunt, lovely little back shot in there. Walton backs it across. He tries to defend, and it goes out over the board. So there'll be a throw in on the far side of the boards, and it will be just inside halfway, it's just inside the New Zealand half, so with the USA will have a little bit of field advantage here. Now the ball's been thrown in, goes up the centre of the line out, but it's Tom Hunt again doing a mile of work here in this first game. Who's back there now? It's Kit Brooks for New Zealand. Coming up with plenty of possession at the moment, Kit Brooks. Now, Escapite on the grey pony, takes it forward, can't get a bit or can't nail it either, but who's there? Del Walt, lovely little back shot to his number two. Escapite is going to have to take it on the near side. Who's left there? It's New Zealand now with the line. Hopkinson takes it forward, gets the deflection off the boards, but it's now Escapite now taking it forward. Still inside the New Zealand half, so they've got the field possession, but can they get the shot to go where they want it? It's gone out to the right of the goal mouth, will it roll over the back line? Hard with there, Del Walt goes for the near side, doesn't quite get it, and it's out over the back line. Ooh, great passage of play, exciting polo, and it will be New Zealand, again breathing a sigh of relief as the USA Coming close twice now, but still, no cigar. It's still one goal to nil in favour of New Zealand, and New Zealand on the attack, but deep inside their own half. So they're going to have to do a little bit of work to get back into the, the field of the, the half of the United States. Who's there? Kit Brooks, lovely little play back to his captain now, Hopkinson, who's been hard ridden there by Escapite. Escapite now comes up with the ball. Goes for a big backswing, gets it there. Del Walton tries, Biddle's got the ball, who's there near side? It's Hopkinson, the captain of the New Zealand team now. Back is Kid Brooks trying to get back to Walton. Kid Brooks and Walton fighting for the ball now. The USA have got it and he takes it out of the air. What a goal. If this is a goal, it'll be fantastic now. Who's there? Tom Hunt. Tom Hunt now. Back shot looking for runners. Who's going to have pony power to get through here? It's going to be Brooks. Brooks is going to have to get past Biddle to do it. Hard ridden there. What an amazing ride off there by Brooks, but it wasn't to, to be. But it is still New Zealand now with the ball through Tom Hunt. Tom Hunt looking for runners. His captain comes back. Oh, gets a very bad deflection off the pony's leg. Doesn't help the cause at all. Hunt. Hunt taking it forward now. Leaves it behind. Gets a bad bounce, but it's going to be Del Walton that takes a clearing shot just to give his team some time now. Gets it into the far corner of the field, and Hunt backs it looking for Brooks. Brooks has still got to get past Biddle, who turns onto the line first. Biddle does a lovely little back shot towards the goal mouth. Who's going to be back there? Escapite, USA, starting to get it together now. Escapite gets a very bad trip, but he still comes up with the ball. Great riding there by the USA. Will he have enough to get it through the goal? He's going to have to hit a big neck shot here. Hits the post, and it goes wide. Oh, again, it's been all USA in attack here at the moment. New Zealand having to defend. And it's, as we've seen so many times, this chuck of one minute left on the clock. And it's New Zealand defending deep in their own half, trying to get themselves up into the, the half of the United States. And it's Tom Hunt again. Biddle appealing for the foul, doesn't get it. Tom Hunt created that line. Now he hits it forward straight up to Brooks. Brooks is going to have to get to it early, but it's been... Oh, the mallet's broken. And who's back there first? It's going to be Tom Hunt. As Del Walton squeals for a new mallet. His mallet's been broken. He's not going to be able to do much with the ball if he gets there. So all he's going to do is try and ride the man. Bell's gone. The clock's ticking. The shot clock's the clock is ticking. And whistle's gone. I think what you'll find's happened there. Del Walton for the USA has gone with a broken mallet and tried to create a 
a uh, diversion so that the uh, while his mallet was broken, he couldn't do much with the ball. So he thought, I'll just go and take the man. And in doing so, he's ridden over the line of the New Zealand player and, and created a foul. So with 24 seconds left on the clock, it'll be the New Zealand team to after spending most of this chucker in their own half with an opportunity to go one goal, another goal in front, so they'll end up finishing this chucker two goals to nil. But it's not over yet. The uh, United States can defend this goal. And you'll see Tommy Biddle come out there and try and block this. Tom Hunt hits it cleanly, but it is wide to the right. So with 22 seconds clock back on, it's going to be United States trying to see if they can get one more quick goal before this chucker is over. And the United States come back onto the field of play with 22 seconds left, knowing that they need to get one more to finish this chucker on par with the New Zealand team. Umpires have blown time out while they wait for the players to come back onto the field. 22 seconds, here goes the United States. One last throw of the dice. And it's Biddle bringing the ball in. Does Goes to the big clearing shot but doesn't quite get it. Now it's going to be a back shot here by Brooks looking for runners. Tom Hunt's going to have to get past Escapito with this one. Lovely little back shot. Hits it back into the field of play. Brooks now with all the time in the world. Have to time it very well. He's got to get past Biddle. Leaves it behind for Hopkinson. Tries to clear away. Sam Hopkinson with not much time left on the clock. Puts it through with two seconds left. And New Zealand go to the chucker break with two goals to nil, two in front. We'll have a look, a recap of that goal here. So you can see Kid Brooks takes the ball forward, rides through to create the diversion so that Sam Hopkinson, the captain, can come through and score that. A fantastic goal. So New Zealand go to the break now with a two-second lead and we'll be back shortly for the second chucker 